established a policy that makes it easier for high-performing sailors to return to service after they separate. It's called the Targeted Reentry Program, and it's designed to benefit both sailors and the Navy while aligning with streamlined return to service for well-trained sailors with valuable skills. TRP is open for officers O3 and O4 and enlisted sailors E4 to E6. Here's how it works. Eligible sailors will be awarded a golden or silver ticket. Golden ticket recipients are granted expedited return to active duty within one year of release as long as they remain fully qualified. Silver ticket recipients will be afforded an expedited return to active duty within two years of release as long as they remain fully qualified depending on the needs of the Navy. Golden tickets, if not used within one year, will be converted to silver tickets for an additional year. TRP is one of several Sailor 2025 initiatives. Get all the details on TRP by reading NAVADMIN 047-18 on NPC. March is Women's History Month. Commands are encouraged to reflect on the theme, honoring women who fight all forms of discrimination. Women have served honorably in the Navy, dating back to the 1800s. Women continue to serve in every rank from seaman to admiral, in all facets of Navy service, as valued members of the One Navy Team. Read the story on Navy.mil for more information. Congratulations to all the sailors selected as part of the Fiscal Year 19 Limited Duty Officer and Chief Warrant Officer in Service Procurement Boards this past week. The list of those selected can be read in NAV Admins 049, 050, and 051-18 on the MPC website. That's all for this week. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at USN People, and check out CMP's official newsletter, Sailor to Sailor, Connecting with the Fleet, available on CMP's website, Facebook, and My Navy Portal. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct and navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.